the most important the most popular the discovered enhanced effect of ethylene what i mean to say is that if you want to isolate ethylene from a plant this is when you get it and that is ripening during ripening of fruits this hormone is the hero of the story you see i told you every hormone has one characteristic feature one function which it will perform ethylene is fruit ripening okay so ripening of fruits has to be done it is irreplaceable by ethylene okay so there there is natural ripening of a fruit which happens which, which takes its time the plant produces ethylene in very high concentration and then the fruit ripens but artificially we are using it we inject to cause artificial ripening okay so ethylene is very very important commercially so usually the fruits are picked up if one wants to sell fruits they will not pick it up they will not wait for the natural ripening of the fruit they will pick it up when it is raw you would see these green bananas a lot of shops actually keep those green bananas especially if you have a neighborhood shop you can actually go and talk to them the fruits the bananas especially the fruits will be delivered yes in a little raw form so that there is a they can adjust to the selling period and once it has to go out to the consumer before that just before that they injected with ethylene after picking so picking is done in a raw form beautiful uh, uh, demonstration of that in front of you it's a raw green banana and then it is injected with ethylene and once it is injected with ethylene it ethylene starts its ripening action and you would see that there's a change in the color there's a change in the fragrance that sweet fragrance and definitely there's a change in the taste the fruit is rich in all the uh, good nutrients the sugars and well if it is left just like that it is going to get spoiled yes so what is actually getting injected what we are injecting at that time the commercial form of ethylene used by the growers is called as ethylene however you want to pronounce it ethylene okay children very very important question please pick up your pens please write it in your notebooks this is the most commonly asked question ethylene is one of the most used plant growth hormone commercially okay it is the most widely used hormone for a farmer for a horticulturist whose livelihood is dependent on selling fruits to us think about it he has to depend on ethylene and ethylene is doing doing so many growth promoting functions as you saw so it's a really good friendly hormone so it is the most widely used hormone in the form of ethylene when ethylene is given to the plant body okay ethylene is a basically i'll tell you the it is also known as ethyl it is also known as ethyl and chemically it is 2 chloroethyl phosphonic acid okay so it is an organophosphorus compound it is a 2 chloroethyl are you writing it down phosphonic acid so that is easily absorbed by the plants it is sprayed on the plant it goes into the plant body through cuticle or through stomata simple 
and plants absorb it pretty quickly. It is translocated in the plant body. And the beautiful part is that it is slowly converted by the plant into ethylene. We don't want a big dose, sudden dose of ethylene. And slowly, because ethylene is affecting all the plant organs. It's not targeting one. It is slowly getting released in the plant body. And it does all the functions. Okay. Now, when it comes to ripening of fruits, okay, which is the most enhanced function of ethylene, where the concentration of ethylene is the highest, at the last stage, imagine that black dotted colored banana or that very beautiful uh, yellow mango, fully ripened. You just want to eat it then and there. It's not green anymore. At that stage, a phenomenon, favorite question, my favorite question, examiner's favorite question, is seen called as respiratory climactic. Respiratory climactic. Now, this is also a characteristic feature of ethylene. Children, the characteristic functions of each hormone automatically become the favorite question and the favorite points of anybody trying to understand the subject. And I hope you get that idea. So, ethylene is respiratory climactic. What is respiratory climactic? At that ripened stage when you can smell it, when, you, when the fragrance is there, the respiratory rate within the fruit is very high. Very high respiration is happening. And that marks the conclusion of the ripening process. That is when the fruit should be consumed. You should actually consume the ripened fruit because the nutrients are available in the best quantity at that time. Okay, so respiratory climactic, what is it ma'am? It is the increased respiratory rate. What does it indicate? The conclusion of the ripening process. Where do we see it? As the most important feature of ethylene. We are good. Let's move further. You can easily experience this respiratory climactic in these fruits which give out this beautiful fragrance which will show you the transition. Some of them are musk melon and even apples. Banana. This respiratory climactic, like I told you, is marked by the color change, yes, and the sugar release. 